Last demo I had took place inside of this weird place with your castle thing I made where you just go between slides. This is this is closer to what the actual uh, vertical slice is going to be. Um, one other change I made is the resolution was quite zoomed in before, but I found it was a little hard because the UI was kind of cramped. And um, so you know, I, I changed it now so it's uh, it's a little more friendly. I have more real estate to add. Uh, and then. Mm. Mm -hmm. You weren't inspired by uh, Sultan Sanctuary, right? Mm. Uh, I don't think I've heard that one. Uh, it's uh, a Dark Souls Metroidvania kind of thing. Mm. And, uh, this is what I was hoping to have for this, but <laughs> didn't get around to it. So. <laughs> um, yeah, so I also added a few transition animations. So now, like, if the characters stop suddenly, there's a little bit of a, you know, kind of a bounce to it. Also, if you jump, he does a little bit of a grunge thing. I think that'll be more if he's falling from higher up. Probably not from this height. But, um, there you go. I love that sequel so much. <laughs> and then, so yeah, for combat now, it kind of zooms in. I haven't updated the character to the new style. Um, you might have noticed I added some outlines because you can probably tell in the clouds, he kind of disappears. Mm. So there's like positions you can stand in. Yeah, so it's uh, it's it's kind of like a combination, like the inspirations, but I'd say are like Mega Man uh, Battle, Battle Network. Network. Yeah. It's kind of Paper Mario as far as uh, the timing. Um, the the slime enemies are kind of dumb right now because it's just mostly testing. Uh, they need a lot of balance. <laughs> you want to fire slam? Mm. I was thinking Star Ocean for some reason a bit. Uh, the other thing I enabled now is some pickups. So we have our currency, which is Sun Pearls, and a healing item, which I didn't get to in time, so it disappeared. Are the other weapons implemented? Uh, I started on an axe, but I haven't had time to actually implement it. And I'll get the apple this time. So you can see <laughs> and um, one plan I have for the, the seagulls is um, they'll, they will run away when you get close to them, but I'm kind of thinking they'll be kind of cool for like an indicator that there might be a hidden treasure or something like behind a wall or, mm -hmm. or something like that. Uh, no, you, I have it so that it's set up to actually swap between the weapons, but I actually have to make the art and animation for the weapons. So. Ah. Do you have any of the active items in the lower HUD implemented yet? Or? Sorry? The lower HUD has the items in stock? Yeah, yeah so the, that's also set up, and there's going to be things like, um, so items such as like a smoke bomb, um, so that you can actually appear behind the opponent because one thing I do right now is if I'm trying to jump over it, you might as well just make it like a Metroidvania platformer in that case. So um, I, I kind of do like the, the more timing based mechanics. And so I think there's going to be interesting ways like with daggers, maybe you'll have a, an ability where you vanish and then reappear behind the enemies. Pretty cool. Uh, in the um, dodge system for the slime, uh, like when, you, when you hit and miss it, uh, how do you uh, I didn't do the programming for this, I'm just, I did the art and game design, yeah. so that's a good question. I'll, mm. I'll follow up on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping to have a few more enemies for the next one too with some different strategies, like, um, one of them is going to be a bird that has kind of like aerial, so it will be a little bit more dodging involved, like they'll fly above and drop things down. Um, but yeah, that, that's essentially it. So the biggest change for more the, the Metroidvania kind of exploration part. Um, and 
get just some, some visual polish to try to make things stand out a little bit more. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Any questions? Do you have any uh, like object interaction and stuff outside of combat? Because you mentioned Metroidvania, usually that involves like special tools to. Press yeah, so the, I'm I'm probably gonna have a lot of the, the traditional like kind of a double jump, um, climbing, um, maybe some like wall jumping and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, that's it's it's still kind of that that part isn't really as um, as planned out right now. So I'm still trying to figure out. But I do plan on having items. Another inspiration for this game is actually Great Transfer Musashi. As okay. far as kind of like the way that you um, get items and, and stuff like that. So. Okay. Do you have any plans to add like armor, new weapons, or? Um, so armor definitely, um, but for the most part, like the, the weapons are actually going to be, there's going to be probably six to eight weapons in total, and then you will upgrade them kind of like you do in Secret of Mana. Oh. Um, so less, because it, it's just a lot of work in animation and just doing like subtle differences and stuff. So there might be some palette swaps and stuff them, but I'm really trying to keep the scope reasonable because it's taking a long time. <laughs> All right. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Who's that? Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. No worries. <laughs>